Right, so question five. Here are the first five terms of an arithmetic sequence. 3, 9, 15, 21, and 27. And we're asked to find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of this sequence. So let's have a look at the sequence and just see what's going on. Um, uh, from 3 to 9 is adding 6 is adding 6 from 9 to 15 again is adding 6 15 to 21 again we're adding 6 and this is also adding 6 so I just have to ask myself the question what times table goes up in 6 each time well very straightforward the 6 n times table 6 if n was 1 we'd have 6 if n was 2 we'd have 12 6 12 18 24 etc but this is this sequence here is not the 6 n times table or it's not the 6 times table it's a little bit behind it it's actually three steps behind it so if i take 3 away take 3 away so instead of 6 i get 3 instead of 12 i get 9 instead of uh, 18 i get 15 uh, that's the sequence we have so the answer is 6 n minus 3. Now it says here that Ben, Ben says that 150 is in the sequence. Is Ben right? And you must explain your answer. Now one way to do this, to guarantee you the marks, is to just keep adding 6 on and see if 150 is in there. That's a little bit long for me, so there's a quicker way of doing it. If it's in the times table, then the sequence uh, 6n, 6n minus 3 at some stage should be equal to 150 and n should be an integer n should be a whole number if it is correct so let's check and see if that works so I'm going to solve this linear equation here so I'm going to add 3 to both sides I'm going to add 3 to both sides and we get let's just change color here adding 3 to both sides we get 6n equals 153 and then I need to divide both sides by 6. So n will equal 1, 5, 3 over 6. Uh, that means n is not an integer because 153 is not divisible by 6. n is not an integer or a whole number. Integer is a whole number. Therefore, 150 is not in the sequence. Okie doke.